guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, what we're going to do today is I'm really excited for this DIY. Um, those of you who've been with me a while will remember last Christmas, I took Christmas bulbs, big ones, and made a topiary out of them. I made a silver one and a blue one. Um, and I'll link that video um, behind this one. Um, but what I want to do, since I'm having my nativity tree in my uh, den, I'm going to switch that room to golds and reds. So I needed to make another one. So that's what I'm going to be doing, making a Christmas bulb topiary. We're going to make two. Um, now, I got these bulbs at Old Time Pottery. Lowe's still have them. But let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this adorable little topiary. Well, it's really not going to be little. It's kind of going to be big. Okay, the first one you'll need, I just love this bulb when I saw it. It was $4.99 at Old Time Pottery, and I just love the gold glitter on there with that red. This is beautiful just by itself, okay? So I picked up two like this, okay? So you'll need two of these. Then I picked up a smaller one just like that and a small gold one, okay? And the smaller ones were $2.49, okay? So you're gonna need two small ones and then you're gonna need three large ones. This is my other large one, it's the gold. Um, you could do so many different things with this. It's not even funny, okay? Then you're going, I'm going to change mine up just a little bit this year. Um, I went ahead, I was at Hobby Lobby, and I saw these adorable napkin rings. And I thought, oh, I'm going to put that on my topiary. They had green, and then they had this beautiful red. And they were $3.99, but 50% off, okay? So I picked up um, five of these, but you're not going to need five. You're really only going to need probably um, four, probably, okay? Then what I want to do, last year I took glass and painted it for the bed. This year when I was in um, Hobby Lobby, I saw these, and they were $1.99, so I picked up two of these. And I spray painted this one with the Rust-Oleum glitter that's in gold. You can spray paint it any color you want. I prefer this one. I did a red one and I did this. If I had it to do over again, they would both be the gold, okay? And then, like I said, I spray painted this one with the red glitter. And it was $1.99 as well. But I really prefer the gold. Okay, and then you'll just need a glue gun. You can use E6000, and you probably should if uh, you're not going to be very careful with this, but mine are still together from last year. Okay, let me cut all my tags off, and we'll get started. Okay, let me bend this down just a little more so you can see better. Now, this is what I was telling you. I think, I think this red on this gold is gorgeous. I really just love that, but I'm going to put this one, I think, on the red. You could put this one on this one and the gold on the red, but I'm going to keep them color to color, okay? And you're really not going to see the base, so that's really not going to matter very much, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one first, okay? Like I said, you're really not going to see my base, okay? You can leave this on or you can leave it off, but just look how beautiful. This is another option. You could just leave it like that and it would be gorgeous. Or you could put a plate on top and use it as a candle holder. There's so many options, okay? So what I want to do is try to eyeball this in the center. You can measure. I typically don't. And we want to try to get this in the center, okay? And just hold it. And it won't take this glue. I use Gorilla Glue and it won't take it any time to set up. But that is so pretty. Now you can leave this on if you want. You can take it off. I'm going to leave mine on. This is such a cute and easy little DIY. 
So what we're going to do next is just glue this one on and then I'm going to glue that on. This is going to be so pretty. Or you could just make the same color small one. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this, okay? Now, let me go ahead and put some glue on this because I like to use glue in case I wanna tear mine apart or you reuse something for something else, okay? But like I said, you could always use E6000 and the glue until it holds. But I love this so far, it is adorable. Push this up just a little more. Isn't that gorgeous? Just like that, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here and just put it on the lip of this candle holder, I mean of this uh, napkin ring, and you could put it on the bottom if you wanted of this, and we're just going to set it down there. But this is gonna make it much more sturdy. My others, like I said, are still together, but I think this is going to give it such a cute look, okay? And that's what we're getting so far. You could do it in any colors, okay? Now, what we're going to do this time is glue this one right on top of here. Same principle, just apply the glue to this. The main thing is just try your best to get it centered because you really don't want it to be off. And you see, you cannot tell that that wasn't made that way, okay? And then we're going to just pop this right on top. I just love this, okay? Okay, then with this, what we're going to do is same principle. Just put your glue right on the lip of this. You kind of want to hurry before it sets up. You could turn this with the bulb tip up or the bulb tip down. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to turn mine down. And this is what we have. You'd never know that this wasn't bought like this. I mean, it's beautiful. You could even, if you wanted, drape like garland down through there. I mean, the possibilities, like I said, are endless, okay? So let me scoot that one over there. Now we're going to take this one. I just love this. All right, let me show you this. Okay, now, just like I did before, I'm just gonna take some, put it where I think the center is, and hope that I get this in the center. Like I said, you can measure and you do have a small amount of time, but not long. And just press down, okay? And that's what we have so far. Then you really only need three napkin rings. Like I said, or I think I said, you could use um, the little grapevine rings if you could find them. You could use different types of napkin rings. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Okay, then just going to put this on there. But I think that's pretty just like that. And can you imagine putting like a plate from the Dollar Tree and do something to that? That would be so pretty, okay? And then we're just going to add this one, just probably take this one off. There you go. So I'm just going to take this one off. Same principle, going to come along here, set this right down on that and press. And now this one is made. I think these are so pretty, I really do. So now we have, let me clean up and I'll show you what okay, it looks like. Okay, here they are. I just love how they turned out. And you could even put, last year I put slender ones on the top 
to make it come up, but this year I just decided I would do it like this. Unless I see one that I really like, then I might put that little slender one on top. It just depends, but let me show you up close. I just love this. It's going to be so pretty when the lights hit it. And they're very sturdy. They're not gonna go anywhere. But like I said, you could use the E6000 and the hot glue. And then here is this one. I just love with those napkin rings in the center. I think they're so pretty. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.